welcome to the Joycast and we're filming from Bayfield, Ontario, Canada today at the farm where I grew up and you're going to choose from one of three nature elements today and they're actually animal energies today and not necessarily choosing the one that uh, is your favorite but more choosing the one that pops out at you first and it is okay to choose more than one if you find that two are really strong so we're if you're new to the joy cast we're playing with our intuition and seeing if there's a special message for us that might help us in our lives that comes through nature to speak to us and so your choices today are cat badger or skunk and for those of you who chose cat today, the cat is a very mystical, magical, and mysterious animal. It's associated with magic in folklore. Also, sometimes they say that witches turn into cats. And so the stories and folklore around that are very magical. They're unpredictable. Cats are usually very independent. They're also resilient in that they are said to have nine lives. So if that's come in for you, um, there is a magic around you, there is a mystery, and that mysterious energy is not to be feared. Sometimes they say that if a black cat crosses your path, it's bad luck, but it's actually not. It's very magical, it's very powerful, and it means the energy is potent. So that is not a bad thing, to have potent energy. In fact, creation comes from potent energy. So the message though that's specific for you today around the cat is the message of uh, two males because the way that cat showed up in uh, for me this time was two male cats fighting all day and I literally mean all day from dusk till dawn in my neighborhood and most of the day they were at my house but they were also at all of my neighbors houses and when if you've never seen cats fight well, this was an interesting dance because I misunderstood it at first I thought they were mating but in fact they were two toms they were both male cats so they were not mating but they were singing to each other they got right in each other's faces and they sang and sang and sang and it went on and on and on and it was relentless so it's a very interesting way for cat to show up and so there is a possibility that if you chose cat today there are two males in your life who are bickering or fighting or vying for power and cats are also a symbol of power and privilege so it may be that you have someone in your family or someone at work or you're caught in the middle of two males uh, in conflict with each other. So the message for you in this power struggle is to stay strong and not to misunderstand the dance. So you may think it's one thing and that it um, doesn't serve a purpose, but my sense is that there is a purpose to this and that it needs to work itself out and it will work itself out and it will um, resolve in a very positive way if you just be patient. Now that doesn't mean that you need to position yourself in the middle of it. If it's affecting your health, your well-being, your vitality in any way, then you need to be assertive and to reposition yourself um, and not get caught up in the drama that's happening. And let's pull a card from Earth Magic on Cat. And we get Autumn Equinox release. This is the card. It's a very, very brilliant picture. Autumn Equinox release. So maybe this means to release yourself from any stress, drama, or anxiety that you're experiencing around this conflict that is nearby and you don't have to fix it. Um, just protect yourself in it and allow it to unfold in the mysterious and magical way that it is going to unfold. So if you chose badger today, we are looking at hermiting energy with the badger because the encounter that I had with the badger was around it hiding from me and it was actually not hiding. It thought it was hiding, but its bottom end was sticking up out of the concrete. And so it just stayed there very, very still attempting to hide. 
So if you don't know what a badger is, it's part of the weasel family and they are incredible diggers. They dig more deeply and quicker than many of the other members of the weasel family. So this is a message for you badger people about digging deeply beneath the surface. And it may be that you've been in a time of um, play or a time of fun and digging can be fun too, but digging also involves uh, looking around at the nitty gritty and getting into the corners of our soul. So this might for you involve review work where you're sort of understanding where you've been and looking where you're going, or it might also involve taking more alone time. So. We, one of the causes of disease in our society, at least in North American society, is the imbalance between outward moving energy and inward moving energy. So that being around people and being busy and doing, 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 and then just that honoring the self and taking time to listen to the messages of our body, our mind, our spirit. So when that gets out of balance, we can be in a place of dis-ease and we can get sick from it. So. And we can also, if we don't get sick, we can create a lot of anxiety or sometimes even depression from all of that doing, doing, doing. So this may for you badger people be a time to really connect with your soul and listen within and take the time to be by yourself. But if you are a person that has been hermiting yourself like hiding, it's sort of like the message, the way this showed up was a message around you can run but you can't hide, sort of like that cliche of you may have been sort of making yourself scarce in social situations um, out of a feeling of not being good enough or not wanting to face something. And so Badger today is asking you to dig a little deeper and also if you're hermiting and it doesn't feel good for you, then to take some social risks and get yourself out there to be seen and then notice how you feel. So there is a contrast, a paradox in this message. This is called Green Man and the message is Synergy. Um, green Man is a symbol of the earth and sometimes he's depicted as uh, with roots growing out, out of him and trees, branches growing out of him and he's always leaping and frolicking but he's also very grounded and connected to the earth. Sometimes he looks like a tree, his body looks like uh, an actual tree. So again if you picked badger, the grounding is that of being in nature, being alone, being with the earth and for those of you who chose skunk. Skunk is a very, very powerful medicine. And all these M words today, also a magical animal, also mysterious, but also very misunderstood because skunks have a natural power and they command respect without ever having to be aggressive. And so if you think about your own assertiveness when it comes to skunk, that could be helpful in terms of um, you know, assertiveness is on a continuum. Sometimes we can be very passive and not stand up for ourselves, or we can get aggressive and be sort of scrappy and try to fight our way out of a problem. So assertiveness is right directly in the middle where we stand in our power, but we do it in a place of, from a place of love and with compassion for the other person. And that is true power, and that's very much like the true power of the skunk. If you think about it, every other animal, maybe except for the owl, the horned owl is afraid of skunk and it is very peaceful and calm and slow moving. You may need to be a little bit more slow moving skunk people. The, these other animals are afraid of skunk and all it has to do is sort of stride along and it commands this respect. So you may be feeling like you want more respect and just make sure that that's not coming from your ego. In addition to some of the general messages that Skunk has to share today about respect, also in this situation, Skunk showed up when it sprayed my dog late at night, which it usually is because they're nocturnal. Um, but it's my dog got sprayed in the face, and so there may be something that you are needing to face right now. And that might be that there's just something that wants your attention that maybe you've been putting aside, you've been putting on the back burner. 
The other interesting feature of this for me was that I was on the phone, on speakerphone with a friend who supported me through sort of the mini, mini trauma of having the dog sprayed late at night and not being able to bring her back into the house until she was cleaned up. And so I had this unexpected support, and my sense is if you chose skunk, there's support there for you too, and it's sort of right in front of your face, even though you might not recognize it. Today for you, we have Ebb and Flo. So this, I love this picture of the ocean, the colors, there's like blue, green, and it's, it's a very, very beautiful painting of the ocean. When I think of ebb and flow I think sometimes um, we forget when we're in ebb that it's gonna come back to flow but that's a natural cycle that everything that is in ebb whether it's respect money responsibility that you might want uh, relationships that always goes through a cycle and some cycles are longer than others but it always comes back around so if you are in that place of ebb where it's not flowing in at this moment just to trust that and it will come back to flow it's it's inevitable it's the natural way thank you for joining me today and please tell your friends about the toy cast and we look forward to next time